learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina because painkillers can be just plain killers. Carolina has 600 yards of total offense and puts more points on the Tigers than anybody had all season long. But a depleted but gutsy defense just can't hold on enough. Carolina falls at Memorial Stadium tonight, uh, 56 to 35. Coach, I know it's all about wins and you don't go anywhere without wanting a W, but you got to be proud of your football team tonight. I, I don't know how many freshmen I saw out there one time on defense tonight. We had, at one time we had six on the field. Is uh, you know again we came here to win the football game, Todd. It's the bottom line. I am proud of our effort. I'm proud of how the guys. They they know we're shorthanded, um, but they continued to fight. They continued to compete. Really proud to see how they competed as we the waning moments of the game, and, and that's that's who we are. Uh, we got to continue to recruit, continue to recruit the, the Debo Samuels of the world, and, and and continue to get those guys in our program, and that's where we're headed. Uh, but, but our guys have got a lot of resolve. I'm proud of the effort, but we came here to win the game. Amazing. Uh, some of the players like that, Debo Samuel making a stretch down the uh, play down the stretch of the ball game when he didn't have to as a senior. And then you three of your top four tackles are either freshmen or sophomores. Hard on our Palmetto Health injury report, Coach, we talked all night about that. But not only did you come in without Bryson Allen Williams and DJ Wanham and J.C. Horn tried to go, you lost some guys in the game as well. Right, Danny Fennell got a knee. I, I don't, I don't know the severity of it right now, but it doesn't look good. Um, you know, uh, R.J. Ryder got banged up there at the end. I think he's going to be okay for next week. I think we'll get J.C. back for next week. Uh, I think that's about it. A lot of players playing in a lot of plays tonight who have not been in ball games. They were in the biggest one of the year so far against number two Clemson. They gave them all they wanted as well. At Memorial Stadium. We'll check out those highlights when we come back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Right now, get a 2018 F-150 with 11790 in total savings. That's 11790 in total savings on F-150. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies. We protect them. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football and your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway.
join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Welcome back. It's time for our Toyota key to the game. Toyota, let's go places. Coach, you told me early last week, you know you had to stop the run. ETN again tonight, a fine back. Since Trevor Lawrence has been starting for them, that's what their Clemson offense does as well. And that's tough sledding with a bunch of those interior guys missing yeah, for you. We struggled, and, and there's no doubt about it. That was a key part of the game. And then as well as our offense was playing, get two turnovers and get some third down stops. And, and that's so frustrating. We had the long third down uh, situation there at the beginning of the third quarter. We had an opportunity to get off the field on their opening drive. And those, just those plays come up in a game like that when you're not stopping the run. Uh, you got to get off the field on third down. And you get, get, you got to get a turnover or two. Had a couple stops during the day, but not much of it to go. All right, Memorial Stadium on a gorgeous night for football after Thanksgiving. We were glad you were with us. And the captain, some pretty good football players right there for you, coach, including Ken Law. And, Jake Bentley, what a night. We'll talk more about him, but you start off with big number one. Yeah, they, you know, we wanted to get the ball in the perimeter, get the ball in space, and let our guys go in space. You talk in terms of Debo and Shy and Brian, and really good protection all night. You know, Jake had plenty of time to throw the football. Uh, we really want to take advantage of their guys. They, they run an all out max pressure there. Jake buys enough time, hits Debo on the slant. Uh, great job starting the game right there uh, offensively getting some momentum here we come back on defense and a critical third and three they run a good route for what we've got called and then Renfro's a guy you got to get down in space and uh, we missed some tackles there and trying to strip and get the ball but we've got good effort and got guys running to the football they hit us on the inside zone we got to squeeze that off a little bit better there um, you know disappointed in that they come back uh, and hit the big receiver. We went and matched up uh, Israel on him the rest of the night, and he did a much better job than we were did early in the ball game. Uh, run a little pick flat there on third and goal. Uh, we needed to score touchdowns in this game. We had two drives stall inside the five, and Jake makes the nice read there. They passed off the coverage. Uh, they did a nice job defending it there, and then we, we get the uh, stop on Wilkins there, and then they run the toss and get the ball on the edge. We really jammed up things inside on them. They ran a little G play. Got to get the backside backer across on that. Coach, you made a decision really before the game that on those fourth downs, any chance to get it, you had okay. to go for it. Four downs. We, we get inside first and go inside the 10. I told Brian uh, we're, we're going uh, f uh, four downs. Here a nice scramble pass on third down. Hits Kiel Pollard down the middle of the field. We felt like we could go after some things on the perimeter uh, in space against their secondary, and, and it worked out for 500 something yards. Here, we, you know, we got a situation here. We got to stay on the edge. We got a five man pressure. We got really good coverage down the field. Uh, looking at a sack situation, and he, he gets out of the pocket. We lose the edge of our defense. Uh, they come back on the inside zone. They score. They make it a two score game, but our guys come back down, and we answer right here. And, First play after that touchdown, as a matter of fact. Big time throw to Debo Samuel. We beat the slot defender. And, um, you know, again, we, we liked a lot of our matchups outside. 75 yard pass to Debo Samuel. Had a career night and actually the second most yardage in the history of Carolina in a single game 210 yards and three touchdowns. Here we get a, we get a stop, and uh, you know they didn't kick field goals very well. And, uh, you know, going in at halftime, a seven point game felt pretty good about ourselves. Yeah, Coach, with what you were dealing with on defense, just to get that one stop and keep up with them scoring, I think that's about all you wanted. The only thing that really didn't go well in the first half was a couple of the fourth down inside the 10 or 15 yard line. Yeah. Those are tough, tough calls with that defense. Well, I, just, I felt like we needed to score touchdowns in those situations. Our highlights is always brought to you by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. And back out, I mean, this is what you want, a seven-point game with the number two team in the country. No doubt. Third and two, we got to get a stop right here. And, you know, they do a good job of pushing the pile on us. Uh, and, and, again, they hit the big third down on the opening drive. They go down, make it a two-score game again. But, you know, again, our guys kept fighting, uh, you know, kept, kept coming and rallying in the game there. Did a nice job on the look back. Uh, hit Keel Pollard for a big play down the middle of the field. Uh, re really tried to take advantage of some things there. And then a really nice job, again, blocking on the perimeter getting the ball in space to a guy like Debo Samuel, let him go make some plays. Emory and Henry was good for you tonight, no the formation. It really was. And there, that's one, I think we gave up two sacks all night, and Wilkins is a good football player, but here we are just continuing to battle in the game. Uh, just got to get the reception area out of the middle of the field with RJ there. Uh, got to get the guy on the ground and, and, uh, and tackle, 
it's something we got to continue to, to, to work on. The counter play is something they really liked in the game. And again, we got to leverage the ball from the middle of the field, get the ball on the ground in that situation. So they go up three scores, but we kept coming in the game. We hit again on the bubble, get a nice first down. All right, there, you know, Debo stretching out for the first down, competing his butt off like he always does, and really proud of him. Um, looking forward to Williams Bryce Stadium against Akron. A really nice job. We circle the defense with Mon Denson uh, to get the ball down inside. Again, fourth and goal. Like the call, like the, the, the aggressiveness to go after it. They do a nice job of defending on the play. Got to give them credit in that situation. Uh, but we come back and then uh, we got to stay on the edge right there with TJ. Uh, uh, we got to follow the safety back across with a tight end. We don't, we don't get exactly where we need to get. get. Uh, but again, we come back offensively and answer. Boy, Coach, you had down three touchdowns, three unanswered touchdowns the second half. Nobody stopped playing at all. In fact, some of your best players played their best football. No doubt about it. Here we get a good turnover right there. They, they, they missed the mesh point. Uh, I think it was Brad Johnson does a nice job of closing on the play right here and recovering the fumble uh, to give us an, you know, another opportunity to go score, and that's what our guys do. A really nice job right here, well blocked right there. Rico doesn't get touched till about eight yards down the field. Uh, really explosive run for us down the field. Jake comes back. Uh, does a nice job, and what a catch by Shy Smith right there over the top of a, of, of a big defender right there, but a heck of a play right there, and a really nice throw. We tried the onside kick, and I thought we'd get one little bounce right there. We had a chance, and then unfortunately, it kicked pretty good for them right there. They come back down, and are able to get the ball in the end zone to end the ball game. Uh, the Tigers win it 56-35, but not before the Gamecocks put 600 yards of total offense and the most points on the Tigers than anybody had done all year long, but they fall short. Tigers win it. Uh, we'll have our superlatives when we come back on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp. We've all been there. Gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. It's got pro pilot assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. We had a large storm and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. When the Gamecocks go bowling this year, you will too. South Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance is sending one lucky winner to whichever bowl game our Gamecocks attend. One winner and guest will get airfare, hotel accommodations, and tickets to the game. Visit usccontest.com to register and check out all the details. That's usccontest.com. Farm Bureau Insurance is a proud partner of Gamecock football in your home for the Gamecock Bowl Game Giveaway. It is anything but. So in 1902, they nearly ignited a war on campus. In 2004, they brought the fight to the field. These two in-state rivals, they are not messing around. 49 degrees, clear skies, Death Valley on a Saturday night as we get you ready for the 116th installment between these two in-state rivals.
throw for him. With pressure in his face, able to unload and complete it. Shotty Smith again, his fifth grab. And he'll move the sticks time. Here's Bentley on the move. Gonna take a shot late and complete. Able to hook up with Keel Pollard. And he will go the distance, 67 yards to the house. And that will silence the crowd on a third down play. Bentley able to find Pollard for the score. 28-14. See the Carolina answer. Bentley throws, got a man wide open. It's Samuel, and it's tail lights. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. It's 75-yard strike from Jake Bentley. The fans have rushed onto the field. Welcome back to Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp. It's time now for our Ram Truck Film Room. All right, this was a, was a situation where, where we had what we call a DC. So it's a dummy count at the line of scrimmage. We're going to give a motion, clap our hands, and see if we can't get the defense to jump off sides. And, and again, they jump off sides here. Number one, if they don't jump off sides, they're, they're going to declare what they're going to give you, and then we're going to make a, a good route combination that we like for that. In this situation, they jump off sides. Donnell Stanley's told, snap the football. They're in the neutral zone. Now we got a free play. We got a free play. We tell our guys, run vertical. And then Mike, go give them a chance. Give them a 50 50 ball. Go give him a chance down the field. And I love 50 50 balls with Debo Samuel. So he goes up and gets the football. Really big, explosive play for us here, but it goes back to our, to, our, to our DC count, which has been very good for us this year. You see the hand clap, they jump off sides, they're in the neutral zone, Donnell snaps the ball, we're gonna full slide protect this, six man protect it, and we're getting vertical down the field. Deep a 52 yarder to go along with that gain he had against Missouri. Here we are in this situation, again, another RPO. We've got an inside zone called, but we got middle field coverage, we got one-on-one -on -one outside. Middle field coverage, one-on-one -on -one outside. Let's go give Brian Edwards an opportunity one-on-one. -on -one. So he knows he's in man coverage. Go make an accurate throw. Get your feet set off the play, play action fake. Throw the ball. In this situation, Brian knows he's about to catch the ball. The guy's draped all over him. And he's also got a middle field safety coming down his throat. So he's got to secure the catch and does a fantastic job of getting the ball in the end zone. Tough play here on the RPO, Coach, because your your fake is to your left. Skarnecki's got to reset his feet and make the throw. His feet, no doubt about it. There's a lot of mental battles in this thing, and there are also some physical battles you're going on with. Because you got to make, you know, sometimes these aren't as easy. They do a good job sometimes of spinning the safety down late. You're not sure exactly what you got, and then you're making a decision. Pre-snap, he knows what he wants. He's going to throw the RPO, so he doesn't even really set seat the ball at all. So he knows where he's going with it. Then Mike's got to get his feet set and make an accurate throw, which he does. Now it's time for the Quackenbush Contract Construction Update on the Long Operations Center. You know, the football program's a different level, and it was a surprise. You know, we had people eating lunch, watching us build the baseball stadium outside the fence, and that was kind of shocking to me. But you know, the social media involved with this building, everyone knows everything about the building every day. They know our schedule, they know when we're supposed to be done with what. They park 25 feet from our job site. You know, I get texts on game days as to when this is going to happen or can you give me a tour. Um, and, and you know, that's the main difference. It's just the sheer quantity of fans. So we're in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we've got the best team on the field and um, all they need to do is execute. We've got a great plan in place. Electricians, plumbers, tile, painters, everybody has a job and as long as the execution is there, we'll be, we'll be successful. This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today? Or someday, the glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them.
Hey, Joy. Hello, Thomas. Hey, what's the worst part about paying for things you don't want? The paying. Exactly. And what's the best part about getting things you do want for free? Free stuff. Precisely. That's why Verizon decided everyone in the family should get the unlimited they want without paying for things they don't, and why it now comes with six months of free Apple Music. I like music. Hey, look at that. I like popcorn. Oh, didn't even ask. How dare you? This holiday, get the gift you want, the music you love, on the network you deserve. Switch now and get $300 off our best iPhones. I would tell myself, just be where your feet are. Just work on you. And looking back, that one decision gave me the chance to rewrite my story. That moment I decided to go back to school. And now, I help protect some of the world's largest companies from cyber criminals. It still blows my mind. I found more than a job. I found a way to make a difference. Good hard work has earned Jana Johns the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the softball team, Johns is a sophomore sport and entertainment management major with a 3.864 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. 28-14. See the Carolina answer. Bentley throws, got a man wide open. It's Samuel, and it's tail lights. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. It's 75-yard strike from Jake Bentley. And just when you want to count out the Gamecocks, they answer back, they clap back. Two big plays by South Carolina's offense and back-to-back -back drives for touchdown. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? And if you're talking about Debo Samuel, all of his 10 catches, you could have picked about any of them tonight, including the last one he had when he's sitting there when the team's way down and he drives it in for a chance another time to score. But that's a 75-yarder, Coach, where your team bounced right back there in the second half, a one-play 75-yard touchdown throw. Well, it was a great answer to that air score, but uh, Jake threw the ball extremely well all night, and then Debo, you know, 10 receptions for the amount of yards he had, and a lot of those were bull yards. They were yards after contact where the guy continued to fight and compete, and that's what he does all the time. 210 yards, only Troy Williamson with his 233, more than Debo Samuel in his a single game. Now our Terminex Pest player of the game, Coach, and uh, Jake Bentley, who's taken his lumps, on the road in conference and non-conference plays played was unremarked it was remarkable tonight 510 yards passing that's a single game record nobody's thrown more than that during his career five touchdowns and uh for the most part was well protected but played tough and played in the ball game the entire time well, he hung in the pocket against a really good front again our offensive line played well he had some receivers make plays for him but he was accurate with the football he took the ball to the right spots over 500 yards passing and five touchdowns speaks for itself Kept him in the ball game and all those great receivers and the offensive line as well. But Jake Bentley tonight, congratulations. Our Terminex Pest player of the game. Now it's time to hear from Mike Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call him. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater. Ah, another truckload of Toyotas. What a sight. Yeah, during Toyota's national clearance event, we've got the last of the 2018s. <laughs> and super low APR financing. Maybe that's why they go so fast. Okay, that's gotta be a record. Right now, during the National Clearance Event, lease a new 2018 Toyota Tacoma SR5 Double Cab V6 for just $219 a month for 36 months plus $500 bonus cash. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. During this year's Certified South Carolina Grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh, locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! We've all been there, gridlock. But this is the 2018 Nissan Rogue. 
It's got pro pilot assist and can stop and start on its own to help keep your distance from that car ahead and can help keep you centered in your lane. Get a low $199 per month lease or get 0% financing for 60 months on Rogue. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina because painkillers can be just plain killers. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks. Wild Wing Cafe, we've got just the thing to make you wild. And by your Carolina Ford dealers, fan and proud sponsor of Gamecock Football. Coach Muschamp's clothes are provided by Britons of Columbia. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back to Gamecock's Fall tonight. What would normally be the season ender coach, a non-conference game with the Tigers, but because of the Marshall missed opportunity, the cancellation of that ball game, the Akron Zips are coming to down for a December 1st noon kickoff in that ball game. What can we expect from the Zips? Well, they defeated uh, Northwestern, who's playing for the Big Ten title this, this next weekend. So they got a good football team. Terry Bowden, I actually was a graduate assistant for Terry in the 90s at, at Auburn and got a lot of respect for him and his staff. They'll be well prepared. That's a noon kickoff. If you don't have your tickets or not sure how to get them, make sure you contact the athletic department. They'll get them to you as well. We need to come out there. Everybody hang out afterwards. We'll watch the SEC championship game there afterwards. It was a big day at williams Price Stadium for a lot of football players. And Coach, I know you don't need to hear this, but if there's any young football players that are out there tonight, your football team showed some guts against the Clemson Tigers. Really injured, really beat up with a great plan. Congratulations only on that. I know you want the win always, but congratulations for bringing a team up here that showed that kind of heart. Well, I appreciate it, Todd. You know, we've got a lot of resolve in that locker room. We have outstanding leadership. Our staff did a fantastic job, and, you know, uh, better days are ahead. I do know that. Yeah, they showed a lot of those young players tonight will be a part of that process. We thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp.